Are you one of those hams that have uh, ham radio equipment all over your car? I don't know about you guys, but I certainly am. Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And uh, I got a solution that at least for me, is an attempt to combat the radio gear all over your car syndrome. So hang on and let's see what that is. And as you probably figured out, it's this bag here. And it's just so windy outside that I have no chance of filming this outside. But it's a tactical, I think it's it's labeled as a gun range bag on Timu. Because my wife was ordering some stuff from Timu and I figured... Well, if she's ordering some stuff, I could certainly tag along and don't don't pose the risk of getting ripped off on Timu. So um, I told my wife to order this bag, and this bag is actually a whole lot bigger than I thought it was. So it's a, it's a heavy piece of kit. It's by no means a lightweight, portable, hike for five miles, five kilometers kind of bag, but it's a store everything in your car bag so let's take a look at the outside first first of all there's an outer pocket here got some molly web in here so uh, op uh, there are options to hook stuff on the outside let's take a look inside this pocket though and I'm just sure sorry about the camera angle but it's so windy that I gotta shoot this inside a car here is a pretty sizable outside uh, pocket. I keep my uh, antenna analyzer in here and also got a spare video camera and you can see these pockets and I figured these would be elastic from the pictures on Timu. They're not. These are pretty uh, pretty tight. They're made for gun magazines so um, I haven't figured out some <laughs> figured out what to use them for yet. There are also some elastic pockets here, not very elastic, but uh, semi-elastic pockets here on the outer lining. Uh, that's the outside pocket, so let's zip that up. So let's uh, flip the bag around a little bit. I got one of those cheap Molly bags that I ordered off of eBay uh, a while ago uh, on the outside here, just because I didn't have enough room on the inside even though this is a pretty hefty sized bag you can actually see it on the passenger seat here and it takes up most of the passenger seat of my Nissan Leaf here but uh, in this little molly bag here I keep some antennas just a little bit of an assortment of wire antennas I got a G5 RV in here from N9SAB I got the radiostuff.com and fed half wave 921 and some wire um, just a random assortment of uh, easy to deploy wire antennas. Further on, I've turned to the back side here. There are a couple of pockets back here. Nothing too big. And there are a pocket here on the other short side. And actually, the lack of pockets is something that's a little bit disappointing on this kit. Let's turn it around and take a look on the inside. Let's open this up. And zippers are actually pretty good quality on this bag surprisingly good quality for a Chinese bag. Uh, another thing that disappointed me a little bit, and I can see other bags uh, actually show pictures of more than one divider here. There was only one divider in this bag. I was hoping for two or maybe three. Uh, besides that, we got a water, Molly water pouch here, which is my guiding kit. I got some tape, some wires, some tent pegs in here. Everything to guy an antenna. Further on, I got this little pouch here, and as you can see, everything is labeled. Here I keep my microphone and all the power equipment that I use for the radio that's in here. Another water bottle pouch, which is coax and chokes and assorted uh, feed line equipment. And then we can see the rest of the bag up in here. I got the 706 here that you've seen in a lot of my videos and you can see it fits almost exactly to the width of the bag. Then I got a little bag here where I got the tuner uh, and uh, Digimode interface for the 706 and furthermore I got room for my 20 amp hour LiFo 4 battery in here. And that is actually one of the things I've bought the last couple of years that really takes care of my portable gear 
in a lot of different ways. Um, there's still one one part of the puzzle to sort out though, but there's something in the mail also from Timu and I'm not affiliated with Timu in any, any way. I'm not gonna recommend Timu. I'm not gonna say don't shop on Timu. That's a decision you gotta make yourself though. But the last piece of the puzzle is how to store the hamsticks. Right now they're just thrown all over the back seat, uh, but hopefully uh, come a couple of days more I'll have the next piece of kit in the mail so you'll see that as well and in order to see that make sure you subscribe to the channel there I said it and click that like comment down below you know the drill uh, so the hamsticks are the final piece of the puzzle but I'm really curious what's your solution to getting equipment stored in your car do you have everything just thrown around the car or do you have a system of bags and pouches or anything to keep it organized? Let me know down in the comments. And I guess that's it for now. Until next time, 7-3.